the inmate in Colorado that's suing Diddy, the guy go by Alfredo Gonzalez. You heard about him? The judge threw that case out because uh, he was saying that they was committing a crime. Yo, this is this is so wild, man. This this shit ain't even funny. I I I I would hate to see. I know who was that. I I know. Not is it South Park? Or uh, is it South Park? South Park gonna kill Diddy next next. They they new season. Oh, you already know they gonna get on them. They gonna they they gonna kill them, bro. Yo, I I I I'm I, I'm I, I, I'm I'm gonna have to watch that. Shit. You know, <laughs> close to the toilet or something, man. Because South Park gonna kill him. You know what I'm saying? On what they on some of the shit that they gonna make up about that boy. Um, that dude. The judge gonna throw that out because a crime was supposed to be committed. He had committed a crime, and he was saying Diddy was committing a crime. So, how you gonna sue him when y'all both trying to commit a crime together? Yeah, that's crazy, man. He was exposing Diddy, but he was exposing himself, too. So He ain't got nothing to lose. He's probably in jail for the rest of his life, the way they was talking. You understand what I'm saying? So what are you going to do? Yeah, he said that he was a member of the cartel, and they were smuggling drugs from Mexico. Yeah, but it was only drugs, man. He was talking about Diddy was telling them that they wanted them to sm smuggle some small kids or whatever like that, some children. I don't believe that, man. I, I just think that was a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, this do sound crazy. It do sound for a fish, but you never know. I mean, it's a lot of stuff that came out about Diddy that I would have never believed. So, I mean, who knows, man? But tell me that story that she was telling me earlier about 50 taking Ja Rule chain. Oh, uh, after Ja Rule and Chaz, I mean, after, J let me start off, start off. After 50 and Ja Rule got into the fight, uh, 50 had took Ja chain when they was in Atlanta, but he had cuffed the chain. And Chaz didn't know 50 had took the chain at first. So Chaz said uh, they found out later that 50 had got the chain because I think 50 had started doing videos and wearing the chain. <laughs> he had did a video and wore the chain. So Chaz called 50 over to the office and, you know, he wanted to get the chain back that belonged to Ja Rule. And 50 wasn't going to give it back because 50 said he lost his watch during the incident, the scuffle that they had. And Chaz was like, yo, so you going to be a robber or you going to be a rapper? And I think 50 was like, yo, I'm going to be both, whatever. He didn't care because he didn't want to get Jai's chain back. So Chaz got a diamond Movado and gave it to 50 in order to get the chain back that he had a Ja Rule. And that was it. Yeah, that's crazy, man. I never knew that, man. But how you feel about all this stuff that's coming out about Diddy from this alleged Kim Porter book that never came out? Well, I think people are bringing it up because it makes for great press. But I don't really believe that Kim Porter had a book without having an agent, without having uh, somebody that was a writer that was assigned to her. Because I don't really believe Kim could write a book without a writer. So if she had a book, she had a book agent. Kim was a celebrity, brother. When she got went places, she got noticed. You understand? So if she had a book, that means she had a book deal. And if she had a book deal, she had a book agent. And if she had a book agent, they put a writer with her so they can get that information. So if anybody was going to know that Kim did or didn't have a book deal, it would be Kamora Lee. Because I knew Kamora Lee and her was mad close back in the day. So all these people saying that she had a deal, so where's the agent? She had a book. She, You know, she was doing a book. Where's the agent? 
because I don't think Kim, knowing Kim and being around Kim, I don't think that she could write a book on her own. 